we're hanging with former First Lady Laura Bush, who's on the line from Texas. Uh, so, Mrs. Bush, your daughter Barbara and her husband ended up moving home to Texas while everyone was in quarantine just for a bit. So what did you do with the family back home? Uh, that she was in graduate school and that her graduate school had gone virtual. <clears throat> so she was on Zoom, of course, all day. Uh, but we were at the ranch. Um, this was sort of at the very beginning of the <clears throat> COVID shutdown. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so we went for long walks. Uh, that's what we love to do. And then we watched a lot of different uh, series on television. Oh, definitely. That's, That's our new entertainment. Oh, absolutely. Netflix. It was a wonder during the pandemic. Um, so <laughs> it helped us all. Um, so what's your favorite way to spoil Jenna's kids? And what, what does Jenna have to say about that? Y'all got all that hang time. Yeah, exactly. Well, the, our favorite thing to do with them, which I don't know if she's thrilled about, <clears throat> but we I love for them to come in early in the morning and get in bed with us. I don't know when we're staying together. I don't know if you ever saw those old photographs of the bushes in bed with everyone, the entire family, all their kids around them in Maine. Yeah. Uh, but we've carried on that tradition. So Mila and Poppy come get in bed very early uh, before Jen and Henry are up. And then, of course, m what they want to do is get our iPads <laughs> and work on them. So now my iPad, my wallpaper is a picture of my two cats. Mila knew how to do that. Um, another background is a picture of our dog. Mila knew how to set it up that way. Oh. So it's actually been an advantage for him to play on my I iPad. Oh my gosh, my children as well. I'm 39, but my six year old can navigate it better than I can. It's crazy. And I'm like, yeah. how do you know this password? <laughs> and she asked somehow she knows it. Um, but do you have any favorite Texas family traditions? Texas family traditions? We go to the Texas State Fair. Oh, well, that's a given, yes. Do you eat fried there? Do you eat like the funnel cakes? Do you go for it? <laughs> no, not really. But oh. uh, one year when Barbara and Jenna were little and we lived in Dallas, <clears throat> we went to the Texas State Fair and Jenna was chosen to be the red pig cheerleader at the pig races. That was amusing. That <laughs> <laughs> I am totally bringing that up the next time we talk. Oh, that's awesome. Um, but since we're both Texans, um, I think we have time for a quick game. Um, we are calling Lone Star Love. Lone Star Love. Um, I'll say something that's truly Texan, and we will share if we've ever done it. Here we go. Um, had a family member who created their own homemade barbecue sauce. <laughs> Uh, no, we, I haven't had that, but my dad's best friend in Midland owned Johnny's Barbecue. Oh! The, the barbecue joint in Midland. So he and spent a lot of time at, at Johnny's Barbecue, and he would mainly pick up and bring it home for us to eat at home. Oh, that's awesome. I, I don't have anybody in my family, but I definitely have a couple friends. Um, okay, so um, have you ever told someone it's pronounced... <laughs> told someone it's pronounced pecan, not pecan? <laughs> no, but I've always used pecan. Me too. And everybody, yeah, I think it's like the any Georgia friend or anybody, they say pecan. And I'm like, it's pecan. It's not tomato, tomato. It's pecan. Yeah. <laughs> it's my, <laughs> me it's too. It's pecan. It's pecan. Um, we made it so. Um, okay, so have, I say this all the time. Um, have you ever said all y'all because y'all just isn't enough? I, yeah. You probably don't. Sure, all y'all. You do? Okay. No, I say all y'all. Okay. Me I mean, I say y'all and I say all y'all. Yeah, okay, me too. I feel, okay, I feel cooler now. I thought I was gonna feel less than when you answered that. Um, <laughs> okay, saying deep in the heart of Texas in front of the Alamo. No, I haven't done that, but I will the next time I go to San Antonio. I know, now it's a challenge to both of us, I feel, at this point. I've never done that either. I love that that was, I love that people in my staff thought that Texans might do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> um, okay, you've gone um, from Texas to Texas on vacation. Have you ever done that? Yes, sure, of course. Yeah, just like on I a mean, road trip? I the, mean, the, growing up, you, we went to El Paso, or we went to San Antonio, or we went to Houston, or, you know, you just would drive from Midland to all those different places. That was your vacation. That's so cool. We um, didn't know. She was just like, have fun in the backyard, in the woods. <laughs> Create your own adventure. <laughs> we didn't do that. No, you know, we went to Galveston once when I was a little kid, and I thought we had hit the lottery. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Um, okay, admitted that Fort Worth is better than Dallas. 
You might not, but I will. <laughs> no, I live in Dallas. I know. Well, I I'm live in from Dallas. Fort Worth. Dallas is better than Fort Worth. No, ma'am. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.